All multimeters have the measuring mode DC, direct current, and the measuring mode AC, alternating current. Some multimeters, like the one used, additionally have the measuring mode AC and DC. The question is, what quantities does the multimeter measure, in the above modes? In DC mode, the multimeter measures the average value of the applied signal. In AC mode, the multimeter measures the root mean square, RMS, value of the applied signal, with no DC offset. In AC and DC mode, the multimeter measures the RMS value of the applied signal. We apply a square pulse from the function generator to the multimeter, signal 1. The frequency of the signal is 100 Hz and the amplitude is 4 volts. In DC mode, the multimeter measures the average pulse value, according to the formula. The average value represents the area of the waveform over one period. We modify the pulse from the function generator as shown. Signal 2. The average value of the signal is 0 volts. Because the positive area is equal to the negative area. In AC mode, the multimeter measures the RMS value of the applied signal, after removing the DC component. As a result, the reading is the same for signal 1 and signal 2. The RMS value is set according to the formula. In AC and DC mode, the multimeter measures the RMS value of the applied signal. The RMS value of signal 1 is the RMS value of signal 2 is. The RMS value is always positive, because it calculates the area of waveform squared, per period. The RMS value converts a time-varying signal to constant DC, which produces the same power dissipation in a resistor. When the multimeter does not have the AC and DC mode, the RMS value of signal 1 can be calculated from the readings in DC and AC modes, according to the formula. A true RMS multimeter accurately measures the RMS value, regardless of the signal waveform, up to a maximum frequency. An averaging multimeter correctly measures the RMS value, only on sine waves. The averaging multimeter determines the RMS value by rectifying the signal and measuring the average value. In a sine wave, the average and the RMS values are related by formula. As a result, the averaging multimeter measures the RMS value of the pulse signal 2 with error.